Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am going to be talking about some movie news today. So this is something that I always wanted to do so I'm excited to give you guys updates on what's coming. Starting with American Sweatshop. Leah Ranhart, she will lead a social media mystery thriller. Leah Ranhart was in the TV show called Riverdale. American Sweatshop revolves around a character named Daisy who becomes entangled in the dark side of the internet while dealing with her chaotic personal life. Daisy and her co-workers, a diverse group, work in a cottage industry of agencies that evaluated harmful and offensive pictures and videos on social media. Particular disturbing video catches Daisy's attention, leading her to leave the safety of her keyboard and pursue accountability in a dangerous world. This film is going to be produced by Barry Livingston. There is no official date of when the film is coming out. I'm assuming 2025, but who knows? So I'm looking forward to this film. Universal Pictures has formally announced the release dates of the forthcoming horror and thriller films. Starting on March the 28th of 2025, the Blumhouse thriller title, The Woman in the Yard, will make its debut. The synopsis for this film has not yet been made public. Drop will debut on April the 11th of 2025, and Five Nights at Freddy's 2 will debut December the 5th of 2025. I have not seen the first Five Nights of Freddy's because I'm not interested in watching it. I'm just going to be honest, but it is available on Peacock for those who have not seen it. The Black Phone 2 and Megan 2.0 will finally debut in June and May of 2025. Black Phone was an excellent film. Megan was equally impressive as well. Both movies are also accessible on Peacock for those who have not yet viewed the first installment. I must admit that Bloomhouse films have a history of being both success and failures for me, but the direction that the company has taken recently appears to be promising. So do you guys remember where Jason Blum stated that the Insidious series will be a lengthy hiatus saying that the fifth installment will be the last one and that it's not a plan right now to create another installment. So well, here we are with another installment of the franchise surprisingly. The new Insidious 6 film has been confirmed by Sony and is set to release date of August 2025. Now I love all the Insidious franchise films including the Red Door. Now some people had issues with that movie but I thought it was pretty good. Now since Insidious 6 is getting ready to come out we should not be seeing the Lambert family. That chapter should be closed. We need a new family and a new story. If Elise returns I don't have a problem with that because she and Tucker and Specs have done a lot of paranormal investigations so I'm quite sure she has a lot of stories to tell. I know what you did last summer is set for a release of July the 18th, 2025. So Leah McKendrick and directed by Jennifer Robertson um, says that it is going to be under wraps regarding the pilot. And now the only character that is missing of the reboot is Brandy Norwood. Her character was Carla in the sequel of I Still Know What You Did Last Summer and she needs to return to the franchise. The original film was decent, but I prefer the sequel better. Now the sequel did have a little bit of hiccups and it's not perfect, but in my opinion, I prefer the sequel. I wonder what the film will be success like Scream because when we got introduced to Scream 5, it was a huge success along with Scream 6. These 90 slashers and I'm here for it for the reboot of I Know What You Did Last Summer. Since we have that movie, and Scream 7 coming out. We need Urban Legend. That is another slasher movie that came out around the 90s as well. So hopefully I know what you did last summer will be a success. Then you have one of my favorite TV series of the year which is Three Body Problems will renew for season 2. So far those that don't know about Three Body Problems, this is a sci-fi series based on the books of the same name. The story follows a young woman who faithful decision in 1960s in China reverts across space and time into the present day. When the laws of nature unravel before their eyes, a close-knit group of brilliant scientists join forces 
with an unflinching detective to confront the greatest threat in Humane's history. I did a spoiler free and a spoiler deep dive on my channel if you like to hear my thoughts and theories about it. Never Let Go, this film stars Halle Berry and is going to be directed by Alexandra Aja. The film follows a mother and her fraternal twin sons who has been tormented by an evil spirit for years and are convinced to never let go of the family's protective bond. But when one of the boys questions if his evil is real, their connection is severe triggering and terrifying fight for survival. Halle Berry has been in some horror movies and thriller movies as well and the last one she did I believe was The Call. I'm hoping this movie will be good because it has a great director. Aja made some great movies such as High Tension, uh, The Hills Have Eyes remake, and Oxygen. The movie will come in theaters this year September the 27th. So let's talk about The Strangers Part 1 recently came out in theaters. This one is directed by Rainey Harlan's first entry of his new prequel. Let me just say this, I'm going to wait until it hits on streaming service because I'm not going to waste my money watching in theaters. I was surprised that the studio decided to recreate one of the most amazing original films. I have seen the 2008 original film and the 2018 sequel, which is The Strangers Pray at Night, and both are pretty decent, but I like the first one better. I looked at Twitter and saw that some people did not like the film and on IMDb right now it's rated as a 5.3 out of a 10. I don't know where the direction is going to go with these trilogies but it's not going to work in my opinion. The original film directed by Brian Bertino brought suspense, mystery and horror. That is the reason why I like the movie. I understand that the director Rennie is trying to do a fresh take in the reboot but some things should be left alone. Let me know of what you thought about the movie. Thank you for watching my channel. Make sure you like and share this video. And until then, see you later.